to what's up guys dl 43 doing another video on my channel today we're going to be going down Funko popping down to a barnes and noble hopefully to get some aot Funko pops because tomorrow the last episode of aot drops and when that drops it's gonna be crazy so if you guys could make sure to smash that like button and also hit the subscription i would love it we're going up every day we're getting some new subscribers also i'd like to give a quick shout out to one of my subscribers who asked for a shout out which his name is leo i believe and so shout out to you, thank you for watching the videos, and if anyone else wants a shout out, just comment and I'll give you guys shout outs, I don't mind at all. And also in that same little comment, he asked about what my favorite anime pop was, because I did ask that in a past short, and I believe I said it was Naruto in burying mode. So, with that being said, let's hop right into this video, and I will show you guys when I get down to Barnes and Noble, and then back to the house to talk about everything that we got, and hopefully again, AOT, we'll talk about a little bit about AOT, and yeah, so I'll see you guys at Barnes and Noble. After Target, I decided instead I was going home, we were going to go stop at Barnes & Noble, and that's what I found. I found Sasha, so now I'm going to showcase everything else that's around. So there's like Jack Skellington, lots of Jack Skellingtons, Claudia, I think that's Armin, I believe. Yeah, Armin, which I have shown on the channel, not the Chase. Uh, more Claudia, there's like uh, Troy. J bruh, I think there is one with her with a potato, but it's an old one. Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, different ones right there. You also have like Haiku, Bugs as Fred, Steve Urkel, some like Star Wars ones. If you go this way, they got like Lady Tamayo, Aaron, which I do still need, but Sasha is a little bit better. Photon, Tenya, uh, Adam Warlock, Pinocchio, uh, Gato, which is such a cool pop. The Flocked Groot. Uh, Green Goblin, Jaime, Yuno, Panda, a terrible box on that Inu Yasha, Supergirl, another Panda, and over here they got like Fat Gum and Mount Lady, the moment for Hunter Hunter, a three pack of Blink 182, same thing, ET stuff, Canal, not the Barnes and Noble Canal, but just Common Canal, and then they have like ginormous posters of that's the wizard of oz and then this one over here is peter not peter pan pinocchio so now that we've been to those now i'll show you guys when we get back to the house because that was some great finds at this at the couple stores we've been to all right guys we are back from going to the store which i ended up only going to a barnes and noble but that's all the footage i really had for today because i was going for aot because tomorrow is the final episode of aot it's over the last episode so on monday i'll give you guys a full review rundown of what i thought of the episode because it's crazy the show like i can't i love the i love aot aot is one of my favorite animes it's not my my all-time favorite but it's one of my favorites i do love it i can't wait for the journey to be over it's like it's over after that there's nothing else to go but i do enjoy it and i want to get all the pops for aot which i'm going to be showcasing because of the factor that it's going to be over and i wanted to try to get as many as i can to complete my aot collection obviously that's happening it's of course going to be, you guys know, if you guys are followers of the channel, it's going to be a hard, hard journey because some of those old pops go for some crazy amounts. But yeah, so let's start off with the first pop I picked up, which at the, the Barnes & Noble, I ended up picking up a Sasha. I got Sasha Browse, which is very cool. I ended up getting a Sasha Browse, which that's what it looks like right there. There's a huge glare, but that's that. I was able to get a Sasha, which is super cool, and I was glad I got Sasha because... I, the GameStop exclusive goes for a crazy amount. I, it's an old exclusive to, like I said, GameStop. I don't know if it was a t-shirt, but I'm pretty sure it was just a pop. But it goes for a lot now. And, yeah, with her being her character being gone, I thought it'd be awesome to get my first Sasha pop. Because I do love Sasha as a character. And now I have Sasha, which is really cool. And I do enjoy AOT a lot. So, it was like, to get a Sasha pop is awesome. I actually tried to get all of the, like, final people, basically, that they've released. And I'm doing pretty well. There's only a couple of things I'm missing, like a Warhammer Titan. Uh, some of the older, like the Common Aaron. Armin, which is a FYE exclusive, which is not going to be almost impossible. Like, when I do obtain it, it'll be really cool. But it's not going to be as easy as getting these, because you can't just go to a store and pick it up. You're going to have to go to, like, a con or, like, a store that sells them. Because it's not just something you can just walk in and pick up anymore. And, yeah, that's really the old For, like, Sasha, that's a pretty cool piece. I'm glad I got her. I wish there would be a Rhino Pop. I wish there was John and Connie. I don't know why they don't have one. Peak. I don't know. She doesn't have one. There's like a couple like that where I'm like, why don't they have Pops? And I mean, I don't know why they don't. 
Now, they made Rhina in a moment with Falco and Aaron, but I'm not too happy with that. I mean, I do want to pick it up for the channel because I'm obviously collecting pops for all of you guys. But, obviously, I'd love for them to put out some different pops. But that is Sasha. And the second pop, actually, I picked up three total. But the second pop I ended up picking up for this AOT video is going to be Aaron Yeager. Basically, his adult version. And this is such a great piece. I have the, gl the blue one, which... I have up there on the shelf, which you guys can't see in the little footage, but I do have an Aaron Pop, and that's the hardened, like, GameStop exclusive t-shirt bundle, which I made a whole video on about, like, three weeks ago, I believe, or something like that, and this is just common Aaron, so now you guys will see, you guys have seen the close-up now of both of them, and this is just base form Aaron. I know there's a metallic Amazon exclusive, which I do intend to pick up. I don't know when I'm going to pick it up, obviously, but I do intend to grab it for you guys for the channel. Again, I try to collect everything I can for the channel. If, if, if do possible, and if not possible, well then sometimes you just miss out. But I try my best to get stuff for the channel for you guys. And this is one of them. Like, I definitely want to try to get the, you know, all of them. And now, because of that, I actually have all the common of them. The only one I'm missing is, let's see if I can kind of, like, yeah, there we go. The only one I'm missing is the Warhammer Titan. And I do intend to pick it up at some point. It's just not at this current moment I don't have it. But Aaron is cool. I do love Aaron. I think Aaron's an awesome pop. I definitely enjoy this piece. It's a great season four one when he's like putting his jacket or shirt back on. Great piece. I love it. Uh, one of my favorite characters. I do really think this is a great pop. Bryce does this Aaron perfectly. He actually does every character he plays really well. But specifically Aaron, awesome pop. I really do love it. And I'm glad that they gave us season four pops. It's not like Demon Slayer where they're lacking and they're not giving us anything right now. Because so far for Demon Slayer, they've kind of like slowed down drastically. Like we got like, not drastically than the per se, but they're still running and milking season one. We're barely getting technically season like two, three-ish pops with Uzui Tangan and all them. Because the way they count it is they count season one as its own season. Then Mugen Train they count as a movie, but then they adapt it into episodes, which then you can watch it in episode format. But people don't count it as a season. They just call it a movie. And then they count the um, Entertainment District as the second season. I like to say it's a third season because I watched it in season format. So then there's the Swordsman's Village Arc, which technically is season three, but I call it season four. So that's where, if anybody ever gets mixed up and I say a different season, that's what I mean. I count one, two, three, four. I don't count. I count Mugen Train as a season. So that's just me personally. I mean, obviously it is a movie. So if you do count it as a movie, that's just okay. But... I would love some of those other pops because they really lacked in not giving us any... We're barely getting an Uzui pop and the Entertainment District pops. And then it's like, then we have Swordsmith Village Arc. They could do so much there. There's just so many pieces that I would love to see pop up on the like later day down the road. But the last pop while we're sitting here talking, the last piece before I start talking about all about AOT is I went down to Hot Topic. And I don't have any footage because there wasn't anything there. But I did get the um, Adam Warlock for only 7 bucks, which isn't bad. And it is pretty cool. Again, I do want to collect all of the Guardians pops if possible. So getting Adam Warlock was definitely an important piece. And again, I usually try to collect these ones when they're on clearance. And $7 is pretty much as bad as clearance as you can get on a pop. And he'll look good with the rest of them. I do like Adam Warlock as a character as well. I just, you know... I don't know. It took me so long. When those pops were coming out for the Guardians movie, I just didn't pick them up as fast as everyone else. Now I'm picking them up, trying to complete the set a little bit along the way. Because they're not going for crazy amounts. I'm just trying to pick them up as I see them. Which isn't very difficult, honestly. They're they're pretty easy to spot. You find them, then you pick it up, and you, you know, just continue down the road. But that's really all of the pops I picked up. Mostly I picked all of this AOT stuff up because of the final episode dropping tomorrow. Invincible dropped their first episode today. Omni-Man comes out November 9th. That's going to be really cool for, to Mortal Kombat. Uh, I know nobody, I don't know if anybody on the channel follows a card game called Marvel Champions, but there was some cool stuff there. So if you guys would like to see like an unboxing of Champions card packs or something like that, just let me know in the comments. I would, I definitely try to do different things for you guys. I'm, I'm not just stuck to pops. Obviously that's the main highlight of the channel. So I try, uh, that's going to be always incorporated, but I try to do other th fun things like some food videos and potentially other videos that people would like to see. And yeah, so hopefully tomorrow that episode is really good. I definitely want to watch it, review it. And then tell you guys how much I like it or basically because I really am excited to see how good of an episode it really is because it's the last episode and it's we're finally here. The journey's over. It's gonna be crazy. And I do love it. It's some of again like one of my favorite shows. Hopefully the landing doesn't disappoint, or hopefully it doesn't lead me to like just 
whole complete sadness because that's what I feel like what's going to happen. They're going to take everybody out. I don't really know what's... Because, again, I'm not a manga reader like that. I don't read the manga. So if you do read the manga, just, you know, then you'll probably already know what's going to happen. I don't read the manga. I know how the ending is supposed to happen. I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody that doesn't. I do know how that part... I have seen the ending. But I'd never read the manga itself. So with that being said, that's all I really got. We're, now we're going to pull these pops somewhere. And hopefully, like I said, tomorrow the video episode's really good. So let's put these pops somewhere. For my first pot, we're going to put right above the glowing Nezuko... We're going to put the two pops in this little square until I can make some shelving or some space because it's just not looking too great. I definitely want to start working on some shelving. That's my next step. But yeah, so that's the first little section of pops. Pop is going to be Adam Warlock, and he's over here right next to Kraglin and Nebula back there. So he's kind of just chilling. And yeah, he's going to be with the Guardian Pals. Like, look at that. He's with all the Guardian Pals. So now let's get to the question of the day. Question of the day's video is going to be, what is your favorite Marvel pop? I would like to see what everyone has with their Marvel collection, and out of mind, there's so many Marvel to choose from. So yeah, I'd love to see what everyone's a pick is on that question, and yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that tomorrow's episode's great. Everyone that watches AOT has a great experience watching their episode, and we can talk about it on Monday. So with that being said, I will see you guys in Monday's video, plus tomorrow's short. Peace!